if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We will now take up another type of pollution and that is water pollution. Uh, the act to control uh, and prevent this water pollution was introduced in 1974 and according to this any uh, water pollutant cannot be added into the water or uh, the place from where these pollutants are released, there has to be a treatment which must be done before the effluents are released into the water body. Now, there are two main uh, sources from where the water pollution takes place. One is uh, the factory or industry. So the industrial waste, they normally contain heavy metals. So main water pollutants come in category of heavy metals. And these are from various industries. Now in these heavy metals, there is mercury, there is cadmium, there is lead. These are the main. The second uh, water pollutant is sewage. And then we can also add one more, which is in the form of uh, the flow off or runoff. When there is excess of pesticide, fertilizer added into the fields, along with the water which uh, flows over these fields, which is called the runoff water, that carries all that excess of nitrates and phosphates and all those things, which ultimately get added into the water body. So, Agricultural waste, that is excess of fertilizers and pesticides, in which there are mainly nitrates and phosphates. Because mainly the fertilizers are NPK fertilizers. So nitrogen, nitrates, phosphorus, phosphates and potassium. So these nitrates and phosphates, they are the main uh, pollutants of water bodies. Now these heavy metals which are coming into the water body from various sources, they are going to affect in various ways. So suppose we talk about mercury poisoning. There is a classic example of this and the disease which is caused because of mercury poisoning is also named after the same. It is called Minamata disease which is caused due to mercury poisoning. Minamata is a place in Japan, it is called Minamata Bay. This area is known for capturing of fish or fishes. So in Minamata, there were cases reported that every newborn in that particular short time period was born with deformed limbs. The hands or the limbs were in the form of flippers. Like we have upper arm, lower arm, then palm and digits and everything in place. The limbs were like flippers of whales 
and this condition, such kind of limbs, this condition is known as phocomalia. So when it was reported that from that area, all the newborns were reported with the same kind of condition, when the tissue of those newborns were uh, analyzed, it was found out that the mercury content in their tissue was very high. Then their mothers, their tissue was examined and it was also found that their tissue had higher mercury level. Then the investigation started and when they were asked about the food which they ate during this pregnancy period, most of them replied of the fish which was caught from Minamata Bay. When those fishes and Minamata Bay water was analyzed, it was found out to be richly, highly contaminated with mercury. And this was because of all the effluent which was dumped into this water from the nearby industries. All those industries have been stopped, but the poisoning caused by mercury is named after that place from where we actually got to know it for the first time so seriously and it is called Minamata disease. The second heavy metal poisoning that is cadmium poisoning. The disease caused by cadmium poisoning is known as Itai Itai. Again, it is a place in Japan from where it was found out. Cadmium affects brain, heart, lungs, basically all vital organs of our body. So this is also very, very dangerous. The third is lead. Lead damages soft tissue of our body. And in soft tissue, again, brain is involved, kidney is involved, lungs are involved. So lead also affects uh, the vital organs. And if these organs that are uh, working is reduced, ultimately it is going to affect the lifespan of the organism. We will add one more here, not the heavy metal, but we will add fluoride poisoning or fluoride contamination. in water. We need little bit of fluoride for proper teeth formation. Fluoride is required but it is required in very 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 less quantity and that is why you must have heard of some types of toothpastes which say that they have fluoride because fluoride is required for our teeth formation. But if fluoride concentration is more, then it causes fluorosis and that results in mottling of teeth. Mottling of teeth is basically, uh, there are two changes which take place. One, the teeth become yellow, dirty yellow and they start to fall off in pieces. A tooth may fall off intact. That is a different thing. But here, while you're chewing something, they become so brittle that while you're chewing something not very hard, the tooth piece is going to break off. So if this is, say, the structure of our tooth, this much part is in the bone and under the gum, while you're eating something, this part may break off. So one, the color changes, it becomes dirty yellow and the teeth, they start to fall off because they become extremely brittle. They get deformed because of these breakings which take place. So various kinds of uh, substances which are added into the water bodies, they ultimately affect us. Either when we drink that water directly or through animals who live in water. Like in case of Minamata, we talked about fishes who consume or who get that mercury because mercury is added into the water and we eat those fishes. So indirectly that uh, pollutant reaches our body and ultimately it is going to harm us. Sea wage, 
that is human excreta when it is added into the water body it should be treated first and that is why there are sewage treatment plants which need to be constructed before the sewage treated sewage is dumped into the water now how do we treat sewage and how do we remove those organic matters from this sewage that we will talk up next